Hello and welcome to Keeping It Pono podcast. I'm Kyle Galdera with Kamehameha Schools Communications. And again, we'd like to welcome Pono Maha. Hi Pono, how's it going? Aloha, how's it Kyle? Good to see you again. And for those of our viewers and listeners who may be tuning in for the first time, Pono is KS's Director of Advancement and the Executive Director of the Poahi Foundation. And as I said, if you're new to this podcast, we started it about four months ago. And we're really just trying to provide an opportunity to engage with our KS network and our alumni and those in the community that want to be informed as well. So mahalo again for tuning in. And over the past few episodes, we've really been diving into the importance of giving and a lot of the the great effects that that has on the Native Hawaiian community and our KS Ohana, especially when it concerns time, talent, and treasure as ways to give back. So uh, during this edition of the podcast, we're going to continue that. And let's start off today, Pono, by talking about some of the student efforts, the student giving opportunities that have been going on. What are some of the great things that have been happening, especially as far as the campuses are concerned? Well, some great things happening. But before I start, I want to make sure I aloha everybody. I hope you're safe and doing well. Uh, Our students have truly stepped up to the plate. Uh, We're believers that giving starts young and giving is very personal. And so for our students, what they did was do a pink for Pauahi uh, merchandise sale, and they were doing boba tea at our Hilo campus. They were raising scholarship money on the Maui campus. And basically what they were doing was trying to get students engaged to use uh, dress code. You pay money, you can wear pink to school. Uh, you can have a challenge for videos. Uh, music videos. So they're trying to just find different ways for our students to get excited about giving back with Pauahi. And so it's been a really good month. Uh, we also had uh, pink for Pauahi because of breast cancer awareness. And so all right. these things culminate in student giving. And we're just thankful to those student leaders at each of the campuses. Yeah, and that's great to see, especially at that age, you know, the younger soon to be alumni starting to develop that culture of giving. How important is that to you and your team, Pono, as far as really fostering that, you know, sense of, oh, I should I should really give back because Pauahi and, and the KS Ohana has really given me so much. Well, it's, I mean, that's really a good point. Um, when you think about our vision of lifting all Hawaiian people, right, lifting to Lahui, um, it starts to beg the question that it takes everyone to lift all boats. And so all the way down to our youngest Kiki, who are doing pennies for Pauahi, basically right. taking monies and putting it in a gallon jar and bringing it to school <laughs> to see if their class uh, could win the pennies for Pauahi contest. And so we're happy, we're thankful. And at the same time, we also know that's part of our kuleana as we um, benefit from Pauahi's generosity. Okay. And that's a great segue into really there was a survey done recently and a lot of the younger alumni showed an interest in being engaged in the giving process. They just kind of wanted to know ways to do that. So tell us about some of the ways that our young alumni are really helping you and the team to to get that giving mentality and and being engaged. How, How are they going about that? Well, we learned a bunch of things from the alumni survey, and one of them was that our young alumni felt like we could do a better job of creating opportunities for them to engage with us. And so one of the leads of the Young Alumni Network, Banning Ramirez, class of 11 from Kapalama, said, hey, you know what I'll do? On November 18th, I'm going to do a little talk story session, and I'll host it. And I'll encourage alums to come, join us, talk story, listen and be a part of this young alumni movement that wants to get engaged and wants to do it in their style. And so we're excited to support Banning and we're looking forward to November 18th. Awesome, and for that particular instance and for a lot of other news, you can check out the Kamehameha Alumni Instagram page. And we'll we'll mention that a few more times during the podcast, but that's a great place to go, especially for our younger alumni looking to engage. So check out the Kamehameha Alumni Instagram page for that. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned young alumni, but we also have to be sure to take care of our Krupuna as well, Mm -hmm. our uh, more seasoned alumni, part of our (laughs) Ohana here. And you're actually, um, you and the team have come up with a great way to honor them through another round of Krupuna meals, which actually kind of made their debut, so to say, during the early parts of this coronavirus pandemic. 
mm-hmm. where a lot of volunteers and alumni stepped up to help feed these kupuna out there. So tell us, Pono, a little bit about round two, which coincides with Founders Day coming up in December. Yeah, the first round, I mean, I got to really hand it to our alumni. Within days, uh, we had raised $7,500 through our alumni uh, to help Kupuna to get meals. And this was during Alumni Month on um, Kupuna meal delivery. And so we're going for round two in December, and it's going to fall during Founders Day. Uh, And so very shortly, you're going to see us reaching out for more help to see if we can gather funds through our alumni to help Kupuna on that Founders Day coming up in December. And so keep an eye out. Uh, probably early November is when we'll put the call out for help. Okay. And and speaking of Founders Day, you know, it kind of falls during Christmas time. It's that season of getting together and, and giving thanks and giving back. But during these interesting uh, pandemic affected times, you know, the, the whole social and physical distancing is still in place. So the importance of these kupuna meals are extra, extra important because a lot of kupuna are isolated. And, you know, even using myself as an example, some of my relatives I haven't been able to see in months because they're having to be isolated in, in care facilities and what have you. So these, these, it may seem like a small give back as far as just a meal, but this really goes a long way as far as our kupuna and our older alumni are concerned. Well, for sure. And I think uh, this pandemic's affected every generation of our alums, uh, from young alum all the way up to our kupuna. And so uh, this is a time where we think about our kupuna, we think about the hardship that COVID has presented, and then our alumni, I'm sure, will rally to the cause to make sure we can feed our kupuna on Founders Day. Awesome. And that's another example of engagement. And we've really seen over this not only over decades, but this year in particular with the COVID-19 pandemic, the need for engagement and just just getting folks to be involved. Not Like I said, we can't do it in person, at least not for now, but we have all these I mentioned earlier, the social media, my alumni, and also through the web. And there's an interesting new alumni community that's just been created and was announced earlier in October. And Pono, tell us a little bit about ways that folks can get connected, especially when it comes to the business community and, and networking. Definitely, we uh, we just brought on a new alumni engagement platform. And really what it's allowing us to do is an alumni business directory. And so in the most of you should have received that email. And we've had actually over the first weekend, we had more than 250 alums go in and populate uh that system and so we want to encourage you it's at alumni.ksbe.edu that's alumni.ksbe.edu and it's our way to find out hey where are our alums what's your contact what's your career and how do we support each other in our businesses and all of this is happening uh, on that website awesome so as pono mentioned there's the alumni.ksbe.edu website for that community uh, kind of link up networking aspect. And then there's ksbe.edu slash alumni. And that's where you go for all your other information, including submitting items for Emoa Magazine. So if you have your computer as you're watching this or listening, be sure to set those as bookmarks because those are going to be your two go-to websites as far as uh, KS alumni and engagement matters are concerned. So those are two great resources. and. You know, to kind of put in a bow on this episode, we're going to go back to just the idea of of giving and using the time, talent, and treasure as kind of a three-pronged approach to giving, whether, you know, depending on what resources are available to you. And this also allows people to be creative when they're giving. And Pono, tell us a little bit about some of the great ways folks have been giving back, uh, you know, during these past couple of weeks since we've last talked on Keeping It Pono podcast. Well, I mean, I'm grateful to our alumni. They're extremely generous. And I get to mention just a few examples of ways in which alumni have stepped up in time, talent, and treasure. Uh, For the time piece, uh, Kavika Trask from the class of 76, who's a class rep, has stepped up last year to deliver our first alumni concert. And so that was extremely successful. That event sold out within the 
course of a week or two weeks. Um, oh. He is bringing round two back. Uh, so keep an eye out for alumni concert number two. And so that's Kavika Trask, class of 76, giving back time as the lead and coordinating that event. Uh, Kili Anderson, class of 98, and Trustee Nobriga, class of 91, are offering their talent. And um, they're heavily involved with finance. And so they are mentoring one of our alums from KSK, Justin Bach, class of 2015, and helping him to get started in his journey in finance. And so that's another example of giving back in talent. And then on the treasure side, you know, this list can go on. Uh, we had our first uh, seven figure gift as a reunion gift. Wow. Um, so that's going to be coming up next year. We're excited to share that good information. But what I wanted to pay attention to this time is Carrie Ann Alu. And she has been an ongoing donor. And what she asked for was an opportunity to help us with programs on campus. And so what she's doing is putting up $350,000 to build the first of its kind voyaging canoe that will be manned by students. And so this program, uh, through her company, Nakupuna Foundation, will be offering a voyaging program that will be starting up next year and will be there for years to come. And so those are just three examples of time, talent, and treasure through our alumni. Wow, so much exciting news happening. I'm, I'm glad we're able to share it here on the podcast. And speaking of exciting news, after months of anticipation, I know we've been talking about this uh, behind the scenes for a while now, but we're finally able to share it publicly. And we actually have a new location for a future gathering space for our KS Ohana and alumni to get together, you know, especially when things are kind of back to the new normal. But Pono, tell us a little bit about this exciting news. Well, I'm sure many of you have heard about Pro Country Club and the decision of the Honda family to step away from that lease. Uh, Pro Country Club will now come back to the KS inventory. And so we are excited to be working with that operator on the ground to drive alumni programming uh, starting up in November. And so you can look for us to do some activities in November. Uh, we encourage you come down to Pro Country Club, golf, uh, eat lunch, uh, listen to music. Um, we're going to be um, really pushing hard uh, to get our alumni gathering space together. And so we're working with our leadership to see what we can do at Pro Country Club moving forward. So that's the great news. It's been a little while, but the news is finally out. Awesome. That's great to hear. I know as a, a avid golfer, even though I don't get much time to get out and do it anymore, I'm really looking forward to checking out the course, knowing that it's uh, kind of coming coming home, so to say, back to the KS portfolio. And I actually just had an idea, Pono. How about we challenge our, our golfers out there? Every time you make a par, we'll do par for Pauahi. So you, you keep it in your mind, keep your scorecard, and then when you have time, you make a small donation for every par. How does that sound? That sounds great. Sounds <laughs> like you're on it, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. So keep that in mind next time you go golf at Pro Country <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to, to seeing that take shape. But, man, this has been a, an exciting episode today. Uh, be sure to stay tuned not only online to, I mentioned the website, ksbe.edu slash alumni. That's where you can find archived episodes of the podcast. But also, if you want to watch us, you can check out the KS YouTube channel. And as we mentioned earlier as well, the Kamehameha alumni social media channels especially our Instagram page that has some of the more visual elements of what we promote here at KS with our alumni and our Ohana. So it's been another fun episode. Thanks, Pono, for joining us. And that was a, a lot of fun today. Yeah, big mahalo. Take care, everyone. And for Pono, I'm Kyle. As Pono said, take care and aloha.